Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Hrojit and today we'll look at the best render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 13. The settings I want to be showing you are in HD and can be altered for any frame rate to get the best possible results. Since YouTube is allowed 60 frames per second and they're constantly updating the preferred upload settings, I thought I'd show you it. So basically this is the video I put up two weeks ago and what you want to do is firstly you want to go over to video properties, click on that and um, select any one of these and change it to what I've got down here. So obviously it will depend, your frame rate will depend on what you want and so will the width and height. Right now I want it set to 1920 by 1080 so I have it 1080p. So this is what I'll keep otherwise I'll change it to um, 1280 by 720. But since I don't actually want to do that I'll just have it set to um, 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can obviously set it to 60. Um, if you recorded that but I'm gonna have it on 30 and what you want to do is you just want to copy down um, what I've got on here I'll just let you copy that down okay so hopefully you've paused the video and copied that down um, you can start a project or new projects with these settings it doesn't really matter but um, yeah, so once you got that, you want to go over and click on render as um, when it loads. Okay, now I'm imagining that you haven't got any of these um, things and what you want to do, or at least the ones I've got down. What you want to do is, if you've got Vegas 13, go on to main concept AVC or AAC MP4 and scroll down until you find... Um, Internet HD and you can either pick Internet HD 1080p or 720p depending on what you've got. I've got 1080p on here so I'm going to click on the 1080 one and customize the template. Now it should come out with a load of things here but what you want to do is I'm just going to open up the one that I've got so I can just show you what I've got. Um, I'll click on customize template and now what you want to do again is you want to copy all these settings down here. Um, you want to copy them down bit for bit because it's quite important but um, Basically the main points you want to have is, again, copy everything down here, I'll show you all this in a second. But include video, and you want to have that set to 1920 by 1080 um, or 1280 by 720 depending on which one you want to output to. Um, I'm going to have it set to 1080p. Again, if you've got 1080p on here, like I have with the um, project settings, you can downgrade it to 720p. But if you've got 720p in the project up here, don't put it on to 1080p. Um, I'm just going to be outputting it to 1080p anyway, um, which is what I've got on here, and it will just match it better. These two boxes should be unticked. Frame rate, um, I want to keep it to 30 frames a second. You can put it up to um, 60, but again, that's your choice. Profile should be main, um, and the rest you just want to copy all the stuff down. Um, maximum BPS, so the variable bit rate, you want to keep it 20 million. That's quite important because some people put at 10. 8, others at 30 million, but since YouTube have got new settings, I'd recommend putting it at 20 million. Um, audio, 48,000 um, hertz, and you just want to copy this down. Um, yeah, so basically check the GPU to see if it is. I've got OpenCL available, which is my graphics card, so I've got an AMD Raiden, um, or Raiden, or whatever, however that's pronounced. Um, but I'll be able to render it with OpenCL, which will increase the render speed or decrease the amount of time it takes. And um, going on that, you haven't got that. Basically, this is these are the ones you want to copy down. So you've got the video tab, you've got the audio tab, the system tab, which there isn't really anything to copy down, and the project tab. This is important. You want to have that at best, and the color space at default. Now what you should get is you should um, basically get it up here as well. So these settings should be exactly the same on yours. Um, obviously depending on the frame rate and um, the output, progressive output. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then you can render it. And it should start rendering it. So that sums up the best render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 13. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment and subscribe. This has been Proto, and I'm out.